One thing I would say kind of immediately is this uh, announcement bar is kind of overlapping the video and it's cutting off like her head and stuff a few times, as you can see. So I would actually move this on top if you can. Ryan's probably gonna be the better person to ask about this technical detail too, but if there's a way to not show like this Vimeo bar, that's probably good. It might be frustrating for folks. I, I like that it's kind of on auto replay. At the same time, not typically the biggest fan of uh, videos in Hero Banners, but this this might work because it's really showing the product. So I'm not actually against this as much as I, as I typically am. Build confidence and hit a new personal best. I think this is solid, especially because you do call out this is an app in the community right afterwards. Maybe again, try holding, you know, all in one functional training app and community. So again, as people are skimming, they can see what it is really quick. I think down here you have over 31,000 members build confidence by training naked. Huh, that's funny. I think that this is stronger actually than rated 4.7 out of five. So I would I would prioritize this, maybe bring this up here. And then you can still show the stars either below the button or you know test it in a few different areas. But I, I do think that this is stronger too. There's there's space here, and I'm I'm always for you know white space, but I do think that there's an opportunity to to add a title here that just kind of ties it all together, right? Or maybe this is even where you put rated five, four point seven out of five. Um, but you know, you can use this space to, to call out something else that's important to folks. With this testimonial, I think it's great that you have a testimonial, but it's it's a lot, right? Like this is a pretty long one. I do like that you underlined and bolded it, but choose choose part of this. Maybe you choose this little part, you know, that you already have kind of called out and use it as the, the title. So when you have long testimonials, most people are not gonna read them, the full one. So take your favorite part of it and use it as the title so they still get the gist of what that person is saying. And this might be a good place to add some more stars. You know, so if you're if you're gonna call out 4.7, add 4.7 or five or whatever this person reviewed it or rated it as. This is just moving really fast. And I would imagine that there's a lot of frustration from people because again, like Ryan said in the last one, one, you can't really read these that well, right? The text is pretty small. Two, uh, it's moving so fast that it's actually probably making people dizzy. It's making me a little bit dizzy just trying to figure out where to even put my eyes on. So if you have to have it auto-scrolling like this, slow it down a ton. Like give people more time than you think to read all of it. Even better, just give them, give them arrows, right? Like this might just be a gif. So that's why it's doing that. Yeah, it is. So maybe, you know, just break it down into actual images and turn it into a carousel if, if this is what you want to do. Ryan hates callouts, so he might just tell you to get rid of it all together, and I don't disagree. <laughs> that being said, it is an app, so I think we, we both get it. Again, font size is pretty small. Again, um, I would increase that, but I like that you guys have titles here. Start today. I would just reinforce that they can start today for a dollar. Just make it really easy. Don't make them have to think about it cost 50% less than what? I would just add it here. Cost 50% less, less than a gym membership. Comes with three times more. Making that a little bit longer title is fine. Clarity over like condensing for shits and giggles always. I don't know if you need this. Maybe you can condense it. I'm not reading it. Most people won't. This is great. This is easy to, to comprehend. Again, just font size, maybe a little bigger. Maybe make it with others. That's cool. Maybe add a line of context here. Like, how does it, like, do I get to talk to these people? Like, what does this mean, getting naked with others? Adding just a little bit there would be helpful. Membership, cool. This is telling you what I'm getting. A little more line height here. It's um, overlapping. All access. Okay. I don't even know if you need all access, but because you have it, access to all programs here. This actually makes me start thinking that there's other options. So maybe you get rid of that title. That's a very minor one. 30 day money back guarantee is, is big. I would probably highlight that more. People get scared to get locked into subscriptions these days. So cancel any time as well. Awesome. Before and afters are great. Super powerful. Love it. I think the only other thing that I would wonder if I was going to be a, a customer is, you know, like, how long apart are these before and afters? People want to know how, how much commitment do they have to make or like what, what expectations should they have? Obviously, you guys can't guarantee anything and obviously it ends up being like up to the person themselves as how much they put into it. But these people have pretty dramatic results, right? So showing, hey, Katie, 
after six months, this is what she was able to achieve. Cool. It just gives some sort of timeline um, if you're able to do it. Otherwise, I, I get it. All right, Ryan, anything that you would add? Yeah, speaking to your point about videos about the fold, I am cool with it if you, I mean, there's two conditions for me. One, they have to be really, really short. And this one, even at, you know, 10 seconds might be a little bit long. Because if you think about what happens when you first load this page and it's not cached or anything, especially on a mobile connection, you're going to get that, you know, blank space loading thing where people might scroll past it even before the video gets loaded. Um, you don't have to lazy load them, I guess, but then your page speed's going to go crazy. So in order to pull that off, the file has to be short and you can do this thing. Uh, this might be a little too technical for this conversation, but for all y'all who can like text your developers this, tell them to put a poster image in front of it. And basically that'll place an image while the video loads in the background. So if the people, if the people using the page have the connection speed to load the video, great, they see it. But if not, at least there's something there that kind of gets the same message across. Um, so make sure that you're like loading it in a sensible way. Number two, you have to test them on Safari really, really deeply because Safari has really specific requirements around autoplay videos. Um, there needs to be a very specific set of HTML attributes on that video to let it play. Otherwise, Safari just won't load it at all. So make sure you test them like on an iPhone, preferably on separate uh, versions of iOS if you can, because um, that's always changing too. Safari is a bear with this kind of thing. So all that to say, you might even just be better off putting a, an image above the fold and then putting the, the looped video as they scroll down so you don't have to worry about any of those problems. Yeah. Exactly. See, told you guys, Ryan, be better at this. <laughs> uh, that one's tough. I forgot about Safari. And so everyone knows the browser I'm using here is not Safari. So yeah, that one's tough. And the other part that we always see with Safari is in-app browsing. So even separate than just putting it in your in your you know iPhone or whatever, uh, the in-app. So if you were to open it from Instagram or Facebook, that can get just as tricky. Uh, it, can tr it can render a little differently for in-app versus yeah. Uh, mobile browser so yeah and for what it's worth, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, for, what, for what it's worth i had this conversation with someone the other day for people who don't know if you're on an iphone every browser is safari like even if you have the chrome app or the firefox app or anything else it's just a wrapper on top of safari because apple mm -hmm. only lets safari run on ios huh. so no matter what everyone on an iphone is going to get the safari experience even if that app looks like chrome so test your stuff in safari always always that is wild. So the Chrome app is actually just like a wrapper on top of a like Safari. It's yeah. You get Safari and you get like a UI on top of it that looks like Chrome. Same with Brave. That same with Firefox, all of them. Yeah. So on Android, do they do the same thing, but Chrome instead? Like I think somebody, Android's I don't open. Know why somebody um, would download Safari on an Android, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you, you yeah. they make you use Safari like under the hood. That's all you get. That's so crazy. Okay. Wow. Well, then to that point, with all that technical knowledge, I would agree with Ryan and just like, I would almost just say drop the video. Do you think a GIF would be a better solution than Ryan? I, so GIFs tend to be bigger than MP4s at the same like video length. So if you got to do it, make it a looped MP4 and make sure you test it thoroughly and have all those attributes. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, you just, you know, you're not going to get it for free. You're just loading a ton of data. Okay, fair enough. Well, that's a tough one, guys. <laughs> cool. Anything else that you would add to uh, this page that this video decision is a big one itself, but outside of that. Yeah. No, that's the biggest thing. No, I can't think cool. about anything else anyways. Yeah. So we'll leave it well, at the video point. Yeah, that's so tough because I do think the video does a good job of like showing the person using the app and then working out, but all of the issues with it rendering properly might not so interesting i wonder if it'd be even worth like like you said having an image there and then but nobody's gonna click it sometimes i i'm like compelled to say like add like a little you know play button that would bring it up and pop up yeah it's tough and stuff i mean i think that is i mean that's a perfect use case for just testing the hero media um, split test as and see if the video it actually is getting more engagement because sometimes it does right and then you can make the calculated decision knowing that all right some people are going to get a little bit of a slower load time but because the video 
uh, it describes and shows our product much better. Like, especially for this with it being like a very involved app experience where so much of it is about like the workout and being in the gym, like it right. just paints the picture really well. So it might be worth it. Um, I think like anything else, you got to test it.